Welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and we're in the shop again and we're going to continue on with this man skills 101 type of thing uh, for uh, those who who may not have grown up with a father figure or those that are a little bit feminine. Um, so uh, we're going to do some tool identification because well growing up unless you dealt with this kind of stuff uh, you probably don't know uh, what some of the most common tools are that uh, are out there and well if you're working on a project and somebody says hand me that boxed in wrench but if you don't know what that is well then I don't uh, then this is for you so um, I'm going to identify some of these common tools this right here is a vice grips uh, the brand is actually a craftsman brand vice grips uh, you see there uh, and no I'm not sponsored by any of these but uh, the way vice grips work, uh, it has a locking lever that locks in place. You can adjust the uh, amount of the opening with this screw on the back, tell in. And uh, when you grab onto something, I should say, when you grab onto something, you adjust this opening and you can adjust it to where it actually will hold on so tight you can't get it off. So, vice grips. These are not good. These are not good for uh, like loosening fasteners. This is really in case you can't get something done. This is kind of like a last resort type of tool uh, in most situations. Next up, got a, a crescent wrench or an adjustable wrench. Crescent is the brand, and uh, uh, so like this one is actually branded Crescent, uh, but uh, it's more commonly uh, referred to as a, an adjustable wrench. Has a little thumb screw right here that you turn, and it adjusts the opening size. And some of the better ones uh, are even marked. I don't know if you can see the markings on there. Yeah, right there. There you go. You can see that. So it tells you how wide the opening is. So, and it has metric and standard. So this does both metric and standard sizes. If you get that, you know, you've used it before. Uh, this is a very good tool to use for um, your, a, a, a tool bag. You need to put this in your tool bag uh, because it allows you to use one tool for multiple sizes. Uh, it is not that good for stubborn parts. Uh, stubborn parts should go back to your vice grips or uh, pliers. And these are slip joint pliers or adjustable pliers, either one. Uh, I don't know what the brand of this one is, uh, but it's pretty old. Uh, made in Chicago, at least. Uh, this uh, was my dad's. And uh, so it adjusts. Um, up and down and then you can adjust this again this is not going to be for loosening most fasteners this is going to be like okay I need to get a hold on something uh, and the reason uh, we'll go through that here in a second uh, but there's a good reason why not to use them parrot nose channel locks and these are actually Channel Lock brand. Channel Lock brand has this uh, rubberized coating on it, and it's known by its color. Uh, so Channel Lock brand, but it's also slip joint pliers. has a slip joint, and these are parrot nose. These are made for rounded bolts and stuff like that. So something that's rounded off. Okay. All right, so uh, now next up is your wrenches. So there are wrenches that have both a boxed end and an open end, be it open or closed in boxed end. Boxed end wrench, uh, these come in, they come in usually the same size on both sides. However, you can find some sets that have like a boxed end and a boxed end and they be two different sizes. Uh, so this is your open end wrench and boxed end wrench. You can have the same on both sides. Lastly, we're going to go over, you got your needle nose pliers. And these needle nose pliers, 
they also have a double purpose and it has a cutting area for like cutting wire. So some electricians will use these, they'll cut some wire and then use the needle nose to wrap wire around a terminal or something like that. So these are needle nose pliers. That pretty much wraps it up on those tools. However, uh, what I was going to say, why your standard, your vice grips and your slip joint pliers are going to be like a last resort type of thing is because these will tear up the fastener. They will tear the fastener completely up. So really you want to use these as a last choice on most fasteners. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. Uh, and uh, we will uh, continue on with this series of videos here uh, in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And ring the notification bell for the algorithm, you know. So have a good one. Thanks for watching.